In this video, we will connect an XGB PLC to an operator interface using the Modbus RTU protocol on an RS-485 connection. The connection and configuration principles are similar for any operator interface to an XGB PLC. When connecting a PLC and HMI, the proper protocol and communication parameters must be the same on both devices. Correct wiring connections and practices must be observed. In this example, we are using an XGB PLC and iView operator interface. The electrical connection is RS-485. The XGB PLC will be set up to communicate on the RS-485 port using XG5000 software. Select the communication port for configuration. Channel 2 is the RS-485 port. Baud rate is 19.2K. The station number is 1. The communication protocol is Modbus RTU server. This may be labeled as something other than protocol depending on the PLC. The XGB reference is Operation Mode. Open the Modbus Settings window to map the XGB PLC addresses to Modbus addresses. Map the PLC bit and word addresses to Modbus addresses and click OK. The data bit, stop bit, and parity is set. Use the setting shown for configuration with the HMI protocol driver. Leave other settings at default. Click OK and write the project to the PLC. The XGB PLC bit and word addresses are now mapped to the shown corresponding Modbus addresses. The IMO iView operator interface is configured to communicate with the PLC. From the link selection, add a link and the add link window will open. Name the link. The link type is direct. The link device is Modicon. The protocol is Modicon 984 Device Slave RTU. The RS-485 link is COM2 for this hardware. The transmission parameters must match the PLC parameters. The PLC address is set at 1. This is the station number set in the PLC. Click OK, Compile, and Download the project. The HMI and PLC are now configured for communication. This setup procedure will be similar for other HMIs communicating with the XGB PLC using the Modbus RTU protocol. For additional information related to the XGB PLC family of products, visit the links below.